Before you start a project, such as the rose wedding bouquet, which involves a spiralling stems effect, it's a good idea to practice the technique first. We've used leftover rose stems to demonstrate, but a bundle of short garden sticks would work just as well. Take your first stick and lay another across it at an angle. Give the sticks a little turn in your hand. Add another stick at an angle, then turn again. It's easier to see what's going on without any flowers or foliage on the stems, but you'll need a few sticks in place before you can see the spiral stem effect starting to develop. Keep adding sticks at an angle, turning and gripping with each addition. When you've used up all your sticks, tie them off using a piece of garden string, pre-prepared with a loop at one end. Tie the string around at the point where you were holding the stems, securing it through the loop and tying a double knot. If you stand the bundle up and give it a gentle tap on the table, you'll see the stems will fall into a neat spiral effect. 